Friends, welcome once again to our Advent contemplative worship services here at the First Baptist Church of Freehold. This year, we're holding all of these services online to accommodate some of the conflicting schedules of our programming here in the church. So each Wednesday, during the time of Advent, we will be uh, uploading a new video you can watch at your own leisure. But we invite you to join us for this time of worship as we celebrate the coming birth of the Messiah, a time when we celebrate hope, peace, joy, and love, the good news that is foretold by the angels who come through the cloven skies bringing messages of good tidings to each and every one of us. So join us this Advent season as we come to anticipate the birth of the Messiah. I invite you now to pray with me, friends. It does not matter whether or not you have faith, whether or not you are cynical or despairing, hope-filled or hopeless. What matters to God is simply that you are present. We are entering the time of Advent in preparation for Christmas. Advent reminds us that if God is to be born again in the most ordinary parts of our world, and our lives, that we must prepare for it. We must clear the space in our lives where God's love might be born. Welcome to this evening. Welcome to this time of light in the midst of darkness. Together, let us practice being ready in the faith that Christ will come. Amen. We are an impatient people. As the days grow shorter and the darkness longer, teach us to wait with faithful expectation. In this time of worship, we light this candle. We light this candle in expectation of your hope. Open our eyes, we pray, and our hearts to the Advent blessings in our midst. May every day be a day of gratitude for your compassion and grace. Through the guidance of your Spirit, lead each one of us in the pathways that make for peace. We pray that your kingdom will come, heralded by a star shining in the east. Amen. Lord, most of us have neither swords nor plowshares, yet your words fill us with hope. Remind us that if we give up our swords, 
we will be defenseless and must thus place our hope and trust in you. Come, Come let, let us, us walk, walk in, in the light of the Lord. Lord, we pray for all those who are out of hope, those with illnesses, those with no work, no place to live, and entire communities crying out for justice. Bring us together so that your hope flows within and through us. Come, Come let, let us, us walk in the light of the Lord. Lord, we pray for our leaders. We pray and hope that nation shall not lift up sword against nation, and that they will never learn war again. Bring into focus how each of us can be a part of that hope. Come, Come let, let us, us walk in the light of the Lord. Lord. And Lord, we pray for ourselves and our families this season, that we may pause to focus on what it would look like and feel like and sound like to place our hope in you. Come, Come let, let us walk, walk in the light of the Lord. Our scripture this evening comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah as will all of our readings during this contemplative series. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us in his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. During this Advent season, we will be following the prophecies of Isaiah, and each week we will be focusing on one of the evocative images drawn from his prophecy. This week on the table, you see a sword beaten part way into a plowshare, reminding us that Isaiah's vision is of a world where weapons of war are recast as tools of agriculture. That which once brought death can instead be used to bring life. This is a difficult process. In making this sword, one of the deacons of our church and my stepson labored to make this happen. They dealt with rust. They dealt with faulty metal. They dealt with the struggle of shaping one thing into something else entirely. This Advent, we celebrate the power of God that allows weapons of war to become tools of agriculture. Where in your life is that transformation at work? Where are you seeing that which is destructive and harmful being transformed into something that is nurturing and life-giving?
In the best of times, climbing a mountain is no easy feat. It requires skill. It requires specialized equipment. It requires guides who know the way, or at least a map to lead you. It also requires determination to continue to set one foot in front of another. The people in Isaiah's time are determined to climb the mountain of the Lord and to see the possibilities of new life that await them there. It causes them to journey from the things they are familiar with to a world where all things are upended, where things are brought low that were once high, where things that were once beneath notice are raised up into an exalted position. The coming of the Messiah means the restructuring of the world as we know it. So where in your life are you dedicated to the work of climbing the mountain of the Lord? Where are you seeing in your own life the low being raised up and the high being brought down?
peace and righteousness come into our midst this evening. Breathe your breath, your spirit of prophecy, your energy, your enlivening, your very imagination upon us. Wake us up. Open our eyes. Help us to see your light. Unplug our ears that we might hear, that we might see, that we might grieve, that we might dream, that we might follow the ways of your extraordinary kingdom. healing. 